Hello, Maurice. Teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. You're and fine? You? I'm okay. Yeah. yeah, today was a rainy day. Yeah. But just in the morning, right? Just mm -hmm. in the morning, because in the afternoon, it didn't rain. Yeah. Not rain in the afternoon. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was sunny. It was sunny here, at least in San Salvador. Where do you live? Um, yeah. San Salvador. San Salvador, okay. So yeah. um, in the morning, it was raining, right? But yeah. in the yeah. afternoon, it was really sunny. Yes. It was really sunny. Okay. Yeah, so it was really different. Like the weather was kind of different, right? Okay. Good evening, Tony. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Very, very fine. This is okay. All right. So you know, um we were talking with uh with Maris that in the morning it was raining, but in the afternoon it didn't rain at, at well at all, at least in San Salvador. I don't know if you noticed that, right? Uh, a little bit in San Salvador and then in La Paz. In La Paz. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got two. Yes. Uh, uh, with two. Two. Okay. Got it. All right, guys. So we're going to start with today's class. And the first thing is that we're going to cover today's agenda. Well, for today's agenda, we are going to start with the warm up. Then we are going to move to grammar and we are going to continue studying transition words. But this time is going to be, I would say, deeply done before. We also have listening quizzes, we have grammar quizzes, reading quizzes as well, and we have the speaking time. So we're going to start with the warm up and we have sentence error correction. Okay. So I would like you to tell me which is the mistake on the first sentence. What is the mistake? Mm -hmm. What is the mistake on the first sentence? The bird busy and maybe uh, busy at the work. Okay. Time. All right. Mm, um, the be, verb busy. Uh, okay. busy. But in this case, uh, Tony, busy is an adjective. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. The fair. Uh, It says Lisa is busy at the work, so she can't make it on time. And the last sentence, did you know? Oh, no, oh, no but, but on the first one? What is the mistake here? Which is the mistake, the error? Maybe um, you don't need the DHA there. <laughs> Lisa is busy at work. Very so she good. Can make it on time. Perfect. So Lisa is busy at work. Work. Very good. We don't need that, right? Very good. Number two. What is the mistake on number two? Mathematics. Mm, okay. Why? Mm. Mm. Yeah. So our mathematics teacher is giving us too much tasks. What is the mistake? Mm -hmm. Oh, much 
Sería many. Very good. Why, Abigail? Uh, much es para no come, come now. Okay. Y many para cantar text. Oh. Es plural. Plural. Countable nouns. Excellent. Number three. What is the mistake on number three? Brave. Why? Uh -huh. mm, mm. Le falta la de. Braved. Sheldon is braved than his friends. Mm, not exactly. No. What the meaning brave? Eh, like valiente. But uh, what is the mistake? Uh, mm, le fal mm, In English, le falta more. Mm, no. Es comparative at the sentence. Okay, very good. But the what is seldom is bravier than my dance? His okay. Okay. okay, very good. So it is going to be braver because it's comparative. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so this one is incorrect because it's a comparative sentence. And the last one, what is the mistake? Uh -huh. What the meaning penny or penny? No, penny, penny means the name. The name, penny. the name, the name. The name. Uh -huh. Sí, no de interrogación. Yeah, but... Excellent. Okay, how do you say that in English? Uh, I don't remember. Question. <laughs> question. The, the question. question mark. Okay. Very good. Yes. Okay. Did you know Penny topped her exam? Superar. Yeah. So did you know Penny topped her exam? Very good, guys. Okay. Excellent. All right. Let's continue. Okay. And we are going to start. Well, Today's class is related to those type of things, right? That we need to be careful with punctuation marks, etc. Okay, so what are transition words? Let's see. Um, Carlos Omar, help us reading the definition, okay? Let's recall previous knowledge, guys. Uh -huh. Okay. Transition words are words or, or phrase that connect ideas, sentence, uh -huh. and paragraph, helping to create coherence and flow in writing. Right. Their role, their role is guiding reader through the the text and making the writing more organized and co coherent. Okay, coherent. 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 Okay, guys. Um, do you remember that? Um, maybe one week ago we covered information about transition words. So transition words are those type of words or phrases, basically that help us to connect ideas, sentences, and paragraphs. Yes. So they help us to make our ideas more coherent. Yeah. So uh, they help us to actually uh, create coherence and flow in our writing whenever we are writing whatever a uh, piece of information all right so in this case we are going to start by talking about that we have common transition words yeah so we have the ones for addition the ones for contrast comparison 
cause and effect. Example, sequence, conclusion, time, emphasis, and clarification. Those are the easiest ones. I mean, and those are the most common ones. Addition, additionally, furthermore, moreover, in addition, and also. Yeah, whenever we want to add information. Contrast. We have, however, nevertheless, on the other hand, in contrast, whereas. Yes, we also have the ones for comparison. Similarly, likewise, in the same way, in comparison. Cuando se quiere decir en comparación, okay, in comparison. Just as, okay. Cause and effect, therefore, consequently, as a result, thus, so. Uh, example, for example, for instance, specifically, remember, all of the words that end in Kali, the rule is we remove the letter A and say specifically. Uh. Yes. In particular, or such as. To give examples. Yes. Sequence, first, second, third, next, then, and final. Yeah. Conclusion. In conclusion, to sum up, yeah, para resumir, to sum up, ultimately, overall, in summary. To express different, uh, different things about time. Meanwhile, afterwards, later, eventually. Yes, eventually. Emphasis, indeed, I'm pretty sure that you have seen this phrase. Indeed, right? People say indeed. So in fact, certainly, surely, without a doubt. Sin ninguna duda. Without a doubt. Doubt. Yeah, letter B is silence. You do not pronounce it. Doubt. 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 Clarification, in other words, that is to say, to clarify in simpler terms terms. Terminos simples, right? All right. So those are the most common transition words that we have. Do you have any question about some of the ones that you don't know? Mm -hmm. If I ask you what is the meaning of whereas, what is it? Huh? What is whereas? Por lo tanto. Okay. Por lo tanto. Okay. Whereas, por lo mientras, tanto. Mientras, mientras que. que. Correct. Whereas means mientras que. Take notes. Take notes, guys, because those are very important. Okay. So now, if I ask you, what is the meaning of nevertheless? Nevertheless? Sin embargo. Yeah. Sin embargo. So if I ask you, what is the meaning of furthermore? Además. Además. Then what is the meaning of meanwhile? Meanwhile. Mientras. Mientras tanto. Mientras tanto. Excellent. Mientras tanto. So what is the meaning of indeed? Efectivamente. Yes. It's like saying de hecho o en efecto. Indeed. En efecto. Right. Hmm. So, what is the meaning of overall? In general. In general, yes, in general. We can say in general. 
Uh -huh. So what is the meaning of dos? What is dos? Dos. Así. Así. Yes. Una palabra de transición. Así. Dos. Ya. Yeah. Otra vez es por lo tanto también. Por lo tanto, okay. could be. Very good. Yeah, dos. Right. Así, por lo tanto. Very good. Okay, guys. Yes, those are the most common transition words that we can use whenever we are writing. We need to follow some specific rules whenever we are using transition words. And this is very important for you to choose the correct transition word and also to write in a proper way, yeah? So the first rule is that we need to understand the purpose of our writing, right? You need to understand the purpose of the paragraph that you are going to write. You need to consider the relationship. We need to use transitions words within sentences. Yeah, within, dentro, yes, yeah? sentences. We need to vary our transition words. We need to use mm, some transition words in the paragraph, yeah? We need to vary. Then we also need to use transition words between paragraphs. This is just in the case that you write one or two paragraphs. Sometimes you need to write till three paragraphs. Yes, if you are taking something, an exam, a certification. Yeah, so you need to pay attention to punctuation marks. Punctuation. You need to understand the context. And the last part, you need to edit and revise. Yeah, let's see. We are going to cover each step today so you can get the idea on how to use transition words in the correct way. So first of all, we need to understand the purpose. Uh, Carlos Omar, help us reading this, please. Understanding the purpose. Yes. Transition words are used to connect ideas, provide coherence, Coherent? and improve coherence and improve the flow and you and you write. They help gay gay, gay reader through your text and make make it easier to follow your your talk. Okay. Thank you. So as Carlos said before, transition words are used to connect ideas, provide coherence and improve the flow of your writing. They help guide readers through your text and make it easier to follow your thoughts. Thoughts. So we have um, the following example, yeah? So first of all, we need to understand the purpose. If we want to maybe emphasize the cause and effect. So we are going to choose a transition word that help us to share that type of thought, yeah? So we have, John missed his flight. Consequently, he had to reschedule his trip. Cause and effect, right? So John missed his flight. Consequently, he had to reschedule his trip. Yes? Now, if we want to express examples, we need to use transition words that help us to express examples. She excels in various sports. What is the meaning of excels? Como muy buena. Yes, oh, sobresalir. Excelente. Yeah, sobresalir. Yes, excel. The same type of um, the things that we have here, the program is the same thing, right? So she excels in various sports, such as basketball, swimming, and tennis. We give examples. 
You see, in order for us to use to use another type of transition word, which is not, for example, we can use such as. We can say she excels in various sports, for example, basketball, swimming, and tennis, or we can use she excels in various sports, for instance, basketball, swimming, and tennis. Yeah, we can use the ones that express example. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. This one, the one that we actually studied before, John missed his flight. Therefore, he had to reschedule his trip. You see? So you can use whatever type of transition word that actually adapts to your idea. Yeah? This is understanding the purpose of the transition words because we have different categories, right? We also have considering the relationship. Uh, Abigail, can you please help us read in this paragraph? Consider the relationship. Yes. Different transition words indicate different relationships between ideas. Pay attention to the meaning and function of each transition word to ensure it accurately okay. reflects the relationship you want to convey, for example. However, shows contacts while furthermore in the case addition. Okay. Now, Abigail, uh, insure. 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 Uh -huh. Accurately. Accurately. Acute. Accurately. Rightly. Uh -huh. Accurately. 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 Uh -huh. Accurately. Accurately. Uh -huh. Okay. Now say relationship. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, Abigail. All right, so in this case, considering the relationship, that means, guys, if we are talking about a contrasting an idea, so we are going to use however. Yeah, and all of the transition words are for contrasting ideas. And if we want to add information, we are going to add a transition word that um, it is related to addition. Yeah, so we need to consider the relationship we cannot use something that, if we want to express something about a consequence, we cannot use something about uh, probably time, right? It depends on the idea. That's why we need to consider the relationship of your thoughts. Now, we need to also use transitions within sentences. That means in this way, Right within sentences, dentro de las oraciones, within sentences. So let's see, uh, help us read in this information, Nelly. It is trans transitions within sentences. Transition word can be used within sentences to connect clauses or phrases. They can go out the beginning, middle, or end of a sentence, depending on the intended flow and emphasis. Experiment with different placement to find the most effective option. Thank you. Now, repeat after me, Nelly, and say used. 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 Then say phrases. 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 All right, guys, thank you. So, um, you know, guys, if we want to use transition words, we can use them in three different ways. 
The first one is going to be at the beginning of the sentence. The second way is in the middle of the sentence. And the last, at the end of a sentence. And we have examples. So right here, as you can see at the beginning of the sentence, we have furthermore. Furthermore, I would like to discuss the potential solutions. Furthermore, we start the sentence with a transition word, but we can also add a transition word in the middle of the sentence. The weather was hot and humid. Nevertheless, we decided to go for a walk. Yeah. And we can also use transition words at the end of the sentences. We studied hard for the exam. We passed with flying colors. Do you remember about that expression that we studied before? Flying colors. So we passed with flying colors as a result. The transition word at the end of the sentence is not that common, guys. The only two common ways that we uh, have, right, for us to use transition words is at the beginning and in the middle. But that doesn't mean that you cannot use transition words at the end. However, that is not common, okay? So then let's move. Um, the next rule is that we need to vary our transition words. That means that we need to use different transition words in our paragraphs. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, Emerson, can you please help us reading everything? Okay. Very your transition word. Mm -hmm. About repeating the same transition word too frequently, instead use barely of transition words to add depth and variety to your writing. Mm -hmm. This will make your writing more engaging and have about monotony. Not me. Next. Enjoy speeding, enjoy speeding my weekends out there. Fifthly, I love going, going for long hikes in heights. the mountain, heights in the mountain. Additionally, I found solace Always. In the beautiful nature while camping in the wilderness. Yes. Moreover, Emerson, are you there? Yes, sorry. Moreover, I have recently taken take up photography and capturing the great taking landscape has become a new form, passion. Furthermore, I enjoy exploring the new trail and dis discovering hidden gems in the different location. Besides hiking, I also enjoy cycling and kayaking. Yes. In effect, I often combine these activities during my hours. Adventure. Yes. Lastly, I found that being in nature helps helps me recharge and rejuvenate. Mm -hmm. Rejuvenate. Yes. Making making me appreciate the simple joys in life every more. Even more. Okay. Thank you. First of all, pronunciation. Repeat after me and say variety. 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 V variety. 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 Uh -huh. Esa es una E. Variety. Variety. Uh -huh. Now say spending. Spending. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, wilderness. Wilderness. Yes. Eh, gems. 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 Um, gems. Gems. Uh -huh. Gems. 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 Gems.
nature and recharge recharge yes guys what is the meaning of solace solace i find solace Solace. What is consuelo? I find solace. Yo encuentro consuelo. I find solace. Hmm? Um, breathtaking landscape. Okay. Breathtaking landscapes. Uh, it's like saying. Paisajes impresionantes has become a newfound passion. Yeah. Newfound passion, nueva pasión. Newfound passion. Yeah. I enjoy exploring new trails. What is the meaning of trails? Caminos. Oh. Mm, los senderos, the trails. Los senderos. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, gems, right, which is joyas. Mm -hmm. Let me see what else. Um, rejuvenate. Rejuvenecer, right? Rejuvenate. Okay. So, guys, the purpose of this paragraph is for us to see that we have uh, different transition words and that we can use them, right? We have different type of transition words. So, we can vary very variety variety yeah of transition words all right so then we okay. also have yes i have two questions oh yes at uh, the uh, at the um, <clears throat> at the paragraph yes breathtaking no era como también como que me quitan el el, el aliento o yes también como que haces sin Yes. Correct. Hidden. Discovery hidden gems. Yo oh, yes. Yeah. Hidden gems. Oh, no. Hidden. Y hidden, ¿qué es? Um, hidden, I mean, that is a mispronounced word. I mean, um, we can say hide, but it is, in the past participle is hidden. And hiding, it could be the ing. Hiding? Pero siempre es como, como oculto. Es que Ocultan. hide es ocultar, vea. Uh -huh. ah, entonces el verbo en eh, participio pasado es hidden. Hidden. Ok. Yes. Okay. Hidden. Yes. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Ok. Very good. All right. So mm -hmm. then we also have the next rule, which is use transitions between paragraphs. Ok. As you can see, this one is the same paragraph that we had at the, uh, the previous page, right? And in this case, um, it says that transition words help us to indicate the relationship between paragraphs. And they help us to make the relationship between the previous and upcoming ideas. You see? So we have transition words here, and then we start the second paragraph with another transition word because it helps for us to create a better writing. Yeah, so we can go ahead and make the paragraphs uh, more coherent. Yeah, it's the same, the same one that we had right here. This one is this paragraph, the same. Just as you can see, guys, this one is a big paragraph, a big one. Mm, but we can go ahead and split it and we can make two paragraphs and it's better. Well, at least for me, right? It's better, okay? Then let's move and let's talk about the most important thing, which is punctuation, yeah? So it says pay attention to punctuation marks, okay? And okay, so Tony, can you please help us read in all of this information? Okay. Depending on the placement of transition word, you may need to use appropriate punctuation marks. For example, when using a transition word at the beginning of 
a sentence, it is often followed by a comma. Mm -hmm. Example, comma. Commas are often used to separate transition words or phrases for the rest of the sentence. Firstly, I went to the store to buy groceries. Mm -hmm. Semicolon. Semicolons can be used to connect two related ideas or sentences that are linked by a transition word. Mm -hmm. She loves to travel. Moreover, she has visited more than 20, 20 countries. Yes. Period or exclamation mark. These punctuation marks are used at the end of a sentence or phrase. Make sure the transition word start with a capital letter and a comma is placed after it. She loves reading books. Furthermore, she enjoys writing short stories. What a beautiful day. Moreover, the sun is shining, shining, shining brightly. Brightly, okay. Thank you, all right? This one is going to be followed. Followed. Yeah, and this one is semicolons. Semi. semi, semicolons. And this one, linked. Yeah. Linked. Okay. linked. Thank you. All right, guys. Um, look at this. Yeah, it says comma, commas are often used to separate the transition words or phrases from the rest of the sentence. Look at this. We have the transition words and we have firstly, right? And then we have coma. Always, guys, always a coma. When you use a transition word, coma, and then the sentence. If you don't add coma, that is incorrect. You should add coma. Semicolon. Semicolons can be used to connect two related ideas or sentences that are linked by a transition word. Look at this. We have, she loves to travel. This is the first sentence. And then we have semicolon, transition word, coma. Yes, we should add semicolon, the transition word in the middle, and then a coma. If you use the transition word in the middle, Mm -hmm. Tony? Talking about the commas, I remember that there's a grammatical uh, rule in Spanish too. Yes. The comma is used to make a pause and, and, and then you make an emphasis in the explanation. Correct. Because it is the reason of the comma in, in Spanish, like the, the English. Yes. Too. It is almost the same. Okay. Um, used. Right. Used. Yes. Okay. Very yeah, good, guys. Driving. Yeah. One moment, please. Okay, Atilio. Thank you. All right. All right. So then, guys. Um, okay. And then we also have period or exclamation mark. Yeah. In this case, um, as you can see, we have period to end the idea. We start the... Um, transition word with capital letter, and then we add coma. Yes. And then what a beautiful day. So we have exclamation mark, capital letter, coma. Mm -hmm. Yes. So those are about punctuation marks. Okay. Always. We need to use them. All right, so now let's move and let's talk about vocabulary because this is very important, okay? All right, guys. So we have punctuation marks, okay? I'm pretty sure that some of you already know some of them, right? But let's see. We have this one, which is apostrophe. Yeah, the apostrophe, well, with the two, right? Then we also have brackets, right? We have brackets. We also have column. We have the coma. We have 
dash. Look at this, ellipsis. We have exclamation point, or we can say exclamation mark. It's the same. The hyphen. Okay, we have the hyphen. Or how do we call hyphen? I mean, what is the other way to call hyphen? Minus. M minus? Yes. Okay. No. Mm. Or dash. Or dash. Excellent. So now we also have a parenthesis. Okay, parenthesis, period, question mark, quotation mark, and semicolon. Well, the most important ones for us, well, I, they all, right? But in this case, period, semicolon, colon, commas, exclamation marks, those are really important for transition words, all right? Now, in English, guys, we have how do we call punto how do we how do we call el punto in english the first way is period what else or point or point or that that, that. Uh -huh. okay that in in uh in internet excellent uh, hotmail.com yes uh, perfect Okay. okay, so period is for grammar, grammar, writing, okay? Then point is for games, right? And that is for websites. And, and point is used to use used? To in numbers. Numbers as well, perfect, okay? So right now we are talking about period because of the writing part, okay? Very good. Now let's move. And we have understand the context. Well, of course, right? Whenever we are writing something, we need to understand the idea so you can use the correct words, the correct transitions. We need to understand what we want to express, yeah? So let me see, um, can you please help us reading this information, George? Okay. Understand the context. Consider the context of your writing and the specific purpose of your transition words. They should alien with your overall massage and help combi your in, intended meaning. Avoid using transition words excessively, excessively or inappropriately okay. as it can disrupt the natural flow mm -hmm. on your writing. Yes. Once upon a time, in a small town, there was a quaint bakery. Firstly, it was known for its delectable pastries and mouth watering cakes. Moreover, the aroma of freshly baked goods filled the air, enticing pacers be to step inside. Furthermore, the friendly staff greeted customers with warm smile and offered impeccable service. Additionally, the bakery had a cozy ambience complete with comfortable seating and shooting background music. Besides the bakery commitment to quality ingredients and art artisanal techniques mm -hmm. set in a part from other established establishments. In conclusion, 
visiting this charming bakery was a exquisite experience leaving customers craving for more. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, pronunciation first, okay? So this one is going to be aligned. 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 Alineadas, right? Yes, alinear. So message. Message. Convey. Yeah, convey. Yes. This one, which is very uh, pastries. 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 Yeah. Filled so thin, excessively. Excessively. Yeah, Excess excessively. Yeah. Then um, inappropriately. Yeah. Inappropriately. Yeah. All right. So in this case, um, vocabulary. What is the meaning? It says there was a quaint bakery. Quaint. What is quaint? It's an adjective. Colorful. It's like a colorful. Yes. Like a pintoresco. Pintoresco. Quaint. Pintoresco. Colorful. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, we also have this one, delectable, which is delicious, right? Delicious, or it's delectable pastries. Mm -hmm. And mouth-watering cakes, right? Mouth-watering, something that is very delicious, all right? Cuando se dice, se me hace agua la boca, mouth-watering. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have enticing. It says uh, enticing passersby. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of enticing first? Enticing? No. Uh -huh. Tentador. Yes, tentador o apetecibles. Yeah, uh -huh. And passersby, mire, the passersby son los peatones. Okay, passersby. Uh -huh. um, well, in this case, impeccable, impeccable service. Cozy ambience. Cozy ambience means ambiente acogedor. Un ambiente acogedor. Cozy ambience. Uh -huh. Soothing means relajante. Soothing background music. Música de fondo relajante. Soothing background music. Yeah. Mm, artisanal, artesanal. Yeah. Artisanal. In conclusion, visiting this charming bakery, encantadora. Right. Es encantadora. Bakery mm -hmm. was an exquisite, exquisite experience. Leaving customers craving for more. What is craving? Craving means anhelo, ansias. Dejando a los clientes con ansias. De más, con anhelo de más. Craving for more. Craving means ansias, anhelo. Okay. All right. So now, guys, in this case, uh, but, yes? sorry, but in 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 a good in a good way. That means it's <clears throat> a different if you say that that you have that you are anxious. Yes. Yes. Okay. Correct. Uh, craving is in a positive um, way, right? Let's say it like that. <laughs> but it depends also in the context, right? It depends on the context. But anxious, okay. of course, is something really negative. Anxious. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So craving, we can use it for a positive context. Yeah. Okay. Now, guys, it says this rule mentions that we need to understand the context, right? In order for us to use um, the correct transitions. Yes, 
this is basically, and then the last one is going to be the edit and revise. Yes. So as you can see right here, it says that we need to avoid using a lot of transition words. We need to avoid that because sometimes it's going to disrupt the natural flow of our writing. If we have, or if we add a lot of transition words, mm, it could be bad as well. So in this case, how many transition words can we add in a paragraph? How many? What do you think? How many transition words? Here we have one, two, six. three, four, five, six. Uh -huh. six. Three, two, okay. Yes, I mean, we can use, um, my recommendation is that within a paragraph, we need to use four maximum, but no more, because if not, that would be overloaded, right? Overloaded, and then, I mean, it is not going to be incorrect, but it is not going to be totally correct because we, we shouldn't add a lot of transition words, just some, just three or four maximum, okay? And look at this, the punctuation mark, period, capital letter, comma. Period, capital letter, coma. Period, capital letter, coma. Period, capital letter, coma. Because it's the easiest way, guys. Do not complicate, right? It is the easiest way for you to use transition words. You end an idea and you start with a transition word and then the coma. But of course, remember that we also have the other type of punctuation mark rules with transition words. Okay, do you have any question right now? Those are just simple rules. I mean, this is um, like most of the information for transition words, right? Yes. Now, if you don't have any um, question, let's move to the following because we need to continue with the activity. But first, we are going to make a simple class review. Yes. And um, guys, let me ask you something, okay? Um, can you please explain to us? Yeah, some, some of you, right? Explain to us when we use the simple past, which are the auxiliary verbs, give us positive sentences, negative sentences, questions. Uh -huh. What can you tell me about the simple past? Uh, me, teacher. Okay. Okay, uh, as we know, the simple past you can use when you when you need to talk in the past. That's something that is happen, and we need to use different verb the verb in past. Uh, and for question, you have to use the auxiliary deal. Mm -hmm. And when you use the auxiliary deal, the verb uh, doesn't change. Okay. Uh, let's start. Okay, very good. Excellent. Yes, you are right. Okay. And when it comes to pronunciation, can somebody tell us um, which are the rules that we follow with the pronunciation for the, the regular verb? Just depend okay. of the verb because we have regular verb and irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. And what are regular verbs and irregular verbs? The regular verbs, uh, most of the time, are only are ed, and the pronunciation is like letter t, like. T. And when when it's irregular verb, it change. For example, the verb go in the past is went. Okay, very good. Okay. Excellent, yes, you are right, okay? Probably just to add a little bit, um, whenever we have the regular verbs, we can have different um, type of pronunciation, right? One of them is the one that you said, which is like t, like that T, right? Then the other one is going to be with the letter D, 
And the last one is going to be ID. Yeah. Um, very good. So who can tell us or who can give us an example? Okay, so we have three types of pronunciation, right? So we have the ones that end with the letter T, the ones that end with the letter D, and the ones that the sound is ID. Who can give us one verb for each pronunciation rule for regular verbs? A verb that sounds like at the end in the simple past? Talk. Uh, which Talked. one? Talked. Talked. All right. This one with D? Said. Said? Yes. Es Spell that, Jose. S A I D. S A I D. Said. Mm, but this one is irregular or regular? Yeah, sorry, um, missed. Okay, missed, okay. And Trust. I did. Trust. Okay, perfect, yes, okay. So just for you to recall guys, I think that tomorrow we are going to have um, maybe a pronunciation time. Yeah, but just for you to recall, remember that the verbs, there are some rules that we need to follow, right? But whenever you don't have vibration, right? Um, here in your throat, right? So in the verb ends with the ED, we are going to pronounce it like talked, talked, yes? Oh. Then with the letter D are the ones that do have vibration. Okay, and how do you know if, this has vibration or no. Most of the words in the English language, guys, most of them that, um, that have the letter S, we say missed, right? But in fact, this one is going to be like a z missed. Mm, we know that the letter S is just, but no, S, is vibration, it vibrates. That's why this verb used, used, ain't no use it, right? It is used. Now we also have the ones that end in ed, but the pronunciation is id. And one of them is trusted. And the main rule is because it ends with the letter T. All of the verbs that end with the letter T in the base form and in the simple past we add ED, they are pronounced wanted, trusted. All of them, all of the ones that end with the letter T, all, all of them. And that they are ED in the simple past. Each are in a start, start mm -hmm. you. Yes, because look at that, start, and we are the D, started. Okay. All right. So, yeah, okay, very good, okay. Um, let's continue. So now we have a short reading in the simple past, and we have a couple of questions. Um, Maurice, can you please help us reading this paragraph? <laughs> Okay. Uh, a reading. Yes. I got a speech in front of my class yesterday. I was very nervous and I was waiting a lot. Mm -hmm. Every, everyone, every, everyone was bored. Even my teacher was bored. Mm -hmm. He was shouting. Joining and watching the soccer came up the window. Mm -hmm. Some people were sleeping on their decks. One day, one guy was even snoring. Mm -hmm. Other people were doing their homework. I was holding my nut in front of me and my hand was 
checking, checking, shaking, shaking. I was talking really fast. After <laughs> what? Every everyone said it was very good. <laughs> my teacher gave my a good smart, but she told me to expect more slowly next time. Very good. Thank you. All right, first of all, a uh, pronunciation, okay? In this case, remember that this one is going to be bored. 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 Yeah, bored. this one is talking, talk, talking, right? Mm -hmm. And this one is shaking, shaking, yes? Hmm. Okay, guys. Um, let's see. Just as general rule, remember that the verbs that have LK, like for example, uh, talk, right? This one is, we remove the letter L, we do not pronounce it. We say talk, T O K, talk, talk. And also walk, walk, right? We do not, uh, we do not say walk, we say walk walk the caminar yeah now uh give me well give me the answer for number one guys what did he do in class yesterday she gave a speech okay in front in class excellent now he gave a speech a speech, speech. okay yes speech. and how did he feel very nervous. He, he was sweating a lot. Okay, so he was very nervous. Yeah, nervous mm -hmm. and was sweating a lot. Sweating. Yes, okay. Now, just as general rule, guys, remember that all of the verbs and um, adjectives as well that end in O U S. Yes, the sound is is nervous. Delicious, yeah. No nervous, delicious. No, nervous, delicious. Yeah, the sound. Then number three, were people interested in his speech? No, no. no. Everyone was bored. Very bored. bored. Everyone was bored. Everyone. She was. Joining. What is the meaning of this? Bostezando. Bostezando. Yeah, imagine. Bostezando. All right. And then it says, uh, one guy was even a snoring. Right? Roncando. Roncando. Okay, so um, how could people tell that he was nervous? How can we tell that he was nervous? How? His hands were shaking. He was sweating. He was sweating a lot, right? Sweating means sudando, okay? He was sweating a lot. Sometimes when you are nervous, so yes, you sweat, right? Some people, they do that, okay? Number seven, what did everyone say about his speech? Mm -hmm. Some people were sleeping in their beds. Yes, and what did everyone say about his speech? It was very good. That it was very good, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and what advice did his teacher give him? He needs to speak slowly the next, slowly. next. The next time. Slowly. Mm, yes, more slowly, right? Very good, excellent. Let's move to the second reading. Okay, who wants to read? Who wants to read this paragraph, guys? Mm -hmm. Can I, teacher? Yes, thank you. The car accident. I saw a car accident yesterday. I was studying on the corner, waiting mm -hmm. for the green light. The other light changed from green to yellow. Then I saw the sports car. 
the, ma the man driving the sports car was driving very fast. He wanted to get through the yellow light, but when he got closer, it turned red. Mm -hmm. On the other street, I top truck started to move forward. Mm -hmm. The driver of the sports car tried to stop, but it was too late. He smashed into the side of the top truck. Mm -hmm. truck. The, make, the man in the sports car got out of his car very slowly. He had a cut in his head mm -hmm. uh, and it, he was stumbling around. The man in, to, in the tow truck was not hurt. He called an ambulance with his cell phone, but, the, but the, by then a crowd was gathering. Some people were watching from a distance and others were helping the injured men. Then the ambulance arrived, the paramedics put the injured man on a stretcher and drove him to the hospital. Yes, thank you, all right. Um, just some observations and pronunciation. This one is going to be turned, turned. Yeah, Sorry. ambulance. Yeah, you corrected this one after. Yeah, so ambulance, ambulance and this one injured, injured, injured with the injured, injured. Uh -huh. injured. Okay, injured. All right, um, guys, what did she see yesterday? Is yes. accident. A car accident, accident right? A car. A, a car accident. Uh -huh. A car accident. And um, Emerson, what was she doing when it happened? She was standing on the corner waiting uh, for the green light. Yes. And Nelly, how was the man in the sports car driving? Uh, the man, the man was driving very fast. Very good. And Pablo, why was he driving so fast? Is Pablo there? Yes. Okay. Um, he went to the throne the yellow light. Okay, he wanted to get through the yellow light. Okay, thank you. And Carlos Omar, um, what did the driver of the sports car try to do when he saw the tall truck move? Forward. What did the dream start to? He called an ambulance with his cell phone. Mm, okay, but what did the driver of the sports car try try to do? Uh, the driver of the sport car tried to stop, to stop. but it was too late. But it was too late. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh, Abigail, who was injured? <laughs> Is Abigail there? Is Roberto Esaú there? No? Okay, is Juan Jose Herrera there? 
Yes, teacher, but I am driving right now. Okay. Is Luis Miguel there? Yes, teacher. Who was I, read, I read again, but I have the pro issues with my internet. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Who is what injury? Yes. The man and the sport car. Very good, thank you. And Nelly, and what did the men in the tow truck do after the accident? He called them an ambulance. Okay, he called, yeah, he called an ambulance. An ambulance. Ambulance, thank you. And Tony, what was the crowd of people doing? Um, the, um, uh, was gathering around the, the, the car accident. Yes. And what did the paramedics do, Tony? Um, uh, the paramedics put uh, the injured man in, on, uh, on, a on a stretcher. Yes. Um, and then drove him, drove him to the hospital. Very good, thank you. What is a stretcher? Um, parece ser para el pueblo, o, o una, no, venda, es una venda. Camilla. Yes, the stretcher in this case is camilla. Uh -huh. La camilla que vemos, uh, okay. este okay. llama stretcher. Okay. Very good. Well done, guys. Okay, let's move. Oh, let me. Yes. Okay, so now we are going to move to the activity. So, guys, we are going to have four teams. What I want you to do is the following. I need to create a short story with the pictures given. Yeah? And I need to use um, transition words. And the story should be in the past, okay? So you need to use all of them. Try to create a short paragraph or at least five uh, lines or six lines and use at least three transition words, yeah? At least three on your story. We have team one, we are going to have team two. You have different pictures. Yeah, team three, and we also have team four, okay? So I will uh, create the breakout rooms and I need you to please work on this. I need you to please work on your writing skills. Make sure the punctuation mark is correct as well. You are going to present your screen, yeah? So make sure you use punctuation marks. Um, okay, I'm going to create four teams. Let's see if you are able to participate. Please move to the breakout room. And if not, please stay here. Okay. okay guys so you can choose your if you want to be team one two three or four okay you choose your your pictures okay okay we are the team number two we are the team number two is correct yes yes okay with the uh Room three. Yes, that is correct. Let me see. Wait. 
Prince Nelly. You don't have. <laughs> Hi. Hi. At the morning in my castle. Beautiful sky. Uh -huh. In my castle. We choose. Hey, we choose. A mi juicio, María, la hay tres personas en lo que es. Sabemos que existe. Y el juego María tiene que mover la bola constantemente. La tiene que tocar toda. La posición tiene que estar sentada de una manera organizada. Por buena forma. Maybe a mystery about. Um, we are we are number one, right? Or 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 we can choose whatever whatever number. Um, you can choose whatever, but uh, just for you to maybe uh, have uh, your team. Yes, let's be team number one. Okay. Okay. What happened? I can't download the you cannot the document. Yes, I trying to. Let me see. Um give me one second. If you open it from there, no. The, the girl was fine. Um, the world was um, you know, we find or look. Uh, light the beach looking for a uh, light uh, house. The girl, the, the girl was looking for a lighthouse at the beach, yes, with a mount. With a map, yes, with 
Jay looking. Is she looking? Dos segundos cuando se te. Sorry. And I was looking for a lighthouse at the beach using a map. Yes, using a map. Using a map. And, um, and then he find a. Or maybe a. a um, then she entered to the lighthouse and found. And 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 it's paint, um, it's a blue painting in the in the muro, no sé cómo se dice. Wall. On the on the wall. The lighthouse was painted with blue color. Yes. With blue color. Con el de los trabajadores. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I told with the workers. With the workers. 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 Well, then I told with the workers. Workers. workers um, um, uh, to ask about the. the... I know. Uh, uh, sorry, I told sorry. the worker we uh, need education. With the workers, sorry, repeat. Uh, uh, we The last picture is a suit. And this one, what is a werewolf? I, I I think I it, it's it's name werewolf. Hombre lobo. Okay, and maybe um the uh, girl. The girl. Oh um. Maybe uh, she talk. Uh, she she talk with a with a robot, and the robot told her a little secret about the about the life. Uh, what is the name that uh, second? It's a lighthouse. Lighthouse. Yes. Okay. The robot told her a secret about the lighthouse. So what we have right now is the girl was looking for a lighthouse at the beach using a map. A map. Yes. The lighthouse was painted with blue color. Inside the lighthouse was a little robot. Then she talked to the robot and the robot told her a little secret about the lighthouse. Okay. I think that um, lighthouse have a light and... Uh, Que se mueve. The move? Yes. Yeah, pero <laughs> the lighthouse have a, a light that move or not? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. And uh, the secret maybe maybe can be um, when the when when the light uh, finish to move. <laughs> maybe maybe they can transport or translate to another work in the you know in the light the secret was <laughs> uh when the light stopped moving yeah she they can move um uh, uh they can move to a place that they want or that oh yes hey the secret was when the lights the light stop moving it can move you her it can move her to the place that she wants. To... Oh, mm -hmm. oh, oh, no move, maybe um, transport, disappear and... <laughs> like uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> Teleports. Yes. The light, when the lights stop moving, it can teleport her to the place that she she wants or desire. Yes. Hmm. However, maybe. Um, yes, and the the lighthouse has a protector. That is the werewolf. That is a werewolf. Yes. Um. Uh, yes, wer werewolf. Werewolf or Wolfman. And the 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 what is the name that that um uh, that girl? The name of the girl. Yes. For for um call for her for her name. You know you know know the girl. Maybe Sally. Okay. Okay, Sally. And Sally with um. The Sally dream was uh was meat. Was uh he was goat uh, uh, to a soup and eat pop popcorns. Was to <laughs> was to go um uh, was to go to a zoo. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know. I, I don't <laughs> catch it. I think that, I think that she. I mean, she went. Yes. Um. Uh, she went that, to a zoo. Ah. Uh, yes. So that, Sally's dream was he, to go to a zoo. Was to visit. Yeah. Sally's Sally's dream was visiting a zoo. 
I don't know if you want to to read what I am writing. Uh, let me share the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Antonio, could you? I think you can. You can post it. Go ahead and just share it. Um, I can't. You cannot. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Try now. Okay. You see it? Yes. Okay, Sally was looking for a lighthouse at the beach using a map. The lighthouse was painted with blue colors. Okay. Inside the lighthouse was inside the lighthouse there was a little rock. Then she talked to the robot and the robot told her a little secret about the life. The secret was when the light stopped moving, it can teleport her to the place that she desires. Mm -hmm. Correct. Quotation. However, the lighthouse has a protector that is a werewolf. Sally's dream was visiting a zoo and eating popcorns. Uh, however, the lighthouse had a protector. I mean, the thing is that I don't know if it is in past or in present. I think in past. We started in past. In past. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it should go. However, the lighthouse had a protector that, that was a werewolf. No. Uh -huh. uh, Sally's dream was visiting a zoo and eating popcorns. Okay. If you want, you can highlight the, the transition words. Yeah, just highlight the transition words. Like place them in, in bold. For example, however is one, right? Then I can find it. Yeah, like yes. However. Just however, right? Okay. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay. it, it is a good story. <laughs> well, I think that then as well is a transition word. Then. Then. Yes. I can. I don't see it. And yeah, right there where you are. Then, like. Little robot, little robot, then she talked to the robot. The second line, then. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. I am blind. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, well, well, before, well, no, after werewolf, uh, to zoom up. Here? Uh, no, after the period. Uh, to zoom up or in conclusion. Oh. Okay. To zoom up, right. 
In conclusion. Uh -huh. In conclusion, Sally's dream was visiting a zoo and eating popcorns. Coma, uh huh. Very good. In highlight, in conclusion, right? And then a period at the end of popcorns. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go back. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay, so let me see. Um, let me see if we have. No. Let's wait for the other ones to join the main session. Okay, perfect. So I think that we have all of you. And no, yes. Okay, I'm going to take attendance. The attendance, okay. Um, Aleida Esmeralda. Atilio Ernesto. Present. Carlos Omar Linares. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez. Carlos Vladimir. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you. Jonathan Jose González Domínguez. Present. Thank you. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Carla Sofía. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Kenia. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Marian Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelly Lilibet Andrade Garcia. Present. Thank you, Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Thank you, Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you, Roberto Esaú Celaya Argumedo. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Carla, yes. Sandra Abigail. Mm, okay. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. I am here, Miss. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Wendy. And Wilbert Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Um, we would like to listen to your stories. So um, the first team, please. In this case, Nelly, Jose, George, Roberto, and Wendy. Nelly, please. Okay. Um, our story, uh, it's about Sally. She was looking for a lighthouse on the beach using a map. The lighthouse was painted with blue color. Inside the lighthouse, there was a little robot. Then she talked to the robot and the robot told her a little secret about the lighthouse. The secret was when the light stopped moving, it can teleport her 
to the place that she desires. However, the lighthouse had a protector that was a werewolf. Mm -hmm. In conclusion, Sally's dream was visiting a zoo and eating popcorns there. Okay. Uh, very good. I just have um, one observation, but when it comes to punctuation marks, it says the secret was when the light stopped moving, it can teleport her to place that she desires, to the place that she desires. We should add a comma right there, right? So this, in maybe we need to add column as well. So um, uh, remove the quotation mark from was. I mean, remove the quotation mark. Mm -hmm. Now add it at the beginning, the, the secret. And then the secret was column. Column, column. Yes, when the light is stopped moving, coma, it can teleport her to the place that she desires. <laughs> Much better to make the pauses, right? Because if not, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Very good use of, of the tenses. I can see that you have used passive voice a lot. Excellent. Okay. Um, team number two. I think that is Atilio, Daisy, Luis Miguel, Maurice, Pablo, and Tony. Okay, we are so nervous. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Um, okay, please people help me to read the history. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, like an introduction, uh, yeah, we go to talk about a short history uh, that contains the blue sky, the castle, the bicycle, workers, um, me with, with, with one, one idea, um, um, a weekend in the, in, at the beach, uh, spots by radio, and more people. OK, okay um, let's go. One, one upon time, I saw the beautiful sky at the morning in my castle. I decided to ride my bicycle to a hospital between my castle and the forest because my kingdom needs a bigger hospital and we are building it. Then I talked with the worker, workers why the construction progress is very slow. As a result, they say they need more labor, better tools, and vacation. Centrally, I need ideas to recruit manpower and motivated staff. Mm -hmm. First, I will promote a long weekend at the beach for the team that, sorry, I can see, Please. that completes its construction phase. In, ad in addition, I will create radio advertisement to attract more workers. More workers. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I just have, well, yes, I have some observations. Mm -hmm. In this case, once once upon a time, the letter C missing. Ah, excuse, me. excuse me. Yes. Okay. Once upon a time, I saw a beautiful sky. Okay. This in the morning. Okay. Yes, in, in the morning. morning. In my castle, right? I decided. Um, Okay, in this case, we say we can say I decided uh, writing or I decided to write. Uh, okay, decided to write my mm -hmm. body school. To the hospital between my castle and the forest. In the forest. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and the forest, because you said my bicycle, the hospital between my castle and the forest. I think. Because my kingdom needs a bigger host. Okay. And we are a building. Okay. Then I talked with the workers with um okay. Then I talked with the workers, or then I asked to the workers. 
Um, the two is possible, but um, the two are possible, but um, maybe because it's a follow question. The, the, to follow the, the conversation is ask. Yes, why the construction progress is very slow. As a result, they said that, that need, they said that that they need uh -huh, more, they yes. More labors. Labors, labors, you mean more, um, more tasks, more work or more workers? Um, okay, uh, labor less uh, workers. Um, labor as a ayudantes de albañilería. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Pero okay, more, more workers, better tools. And vacations. Certainly, I need ideas to recruit manpower and motivated staff. Okay. First, I will promote a long weekend uh -huh, at the beach for the team that completes its construction. Okay. In addition, I will create a radio advertisement. To, okay. Yes. Very good. Very creative. Okay, I think that you will promote a lot of things, good things for your team. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. Why the things? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. The last team, Emerson. Emerson, I think, um, Carlos Omar. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, in summer, uh, we take the, the sun. Yes. In summer, the sunny days are very good to enjoy with family and friends. Mm -hmm. Since El Salvador is a, is, a, is a small country, we can do many activities in one day. Firstly, visit the mountain and volcanoes. Additional, we enjoy the beach. And lastly, take a tour of the most important traditional villages. Villages. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, maybe use the last part, right? We enjoy, we enjoy the beach. Lastly, we can take, we can take, we can take a tour of the most important traditional villages. We can enjoy the beach. Lastly, we, we take, we can take a tour. We can take. Yes, we can take. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. Thank you. Okay. Interesting. And that is true, right? What you have added right there is true. Um, okay. So now let's move. And I think that we are going to take the listening quizzes. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, yes. Let's take the listening. The listening quizzes. Okay. Let me get it. Let me, let me get the first one because we have two. Okay, so this one is the first one and the passcode is listening. Listening. Let me see. Let me know once you are ready so I can play the, the recording. Listening. Let me see. This one is... 2892. 28. This one. Okay. Ready? Ready. Okay. Here we go. Pay attention, okay? Pay attention to the to this audio. Let me okay. I've decided to move out of my parents' place to live on my own, and now I'm looking for an apartment. However, it's a lot more difficult and expensive than I thought. First of all, a one-bedroom apartment is going for about $500, and that's a little over my budget. Second, you have to pay a deposit, often equal to your first month's rent. Next, most apartments aren't furnished, so I have to come up with furniture and a washer and a dryer. Finally, the utilities, including gas, electricity, and water, are not included either, so that adds to the overall expenses of having your own place. I really think I need to get a roommate, or I'll have to move back in with my parents. 
again. I've decided to move out of my parents' place to live on my own, and now I'm looking for an apartment. However, it's a lot more difficult and expensive than I thought. First of all, a one-bedroom apartment is going for about $500, and that's a little over my budget. Second, you have to pay a deposit, often equal to your first month's rent. Next, most apartments aren't furnished, so I have to come up with furniture and a washer and a dryer. Finally, the utilities, including gas, electricity, and water, are not included either, so that adds to the overall expenses of having your own place. I really think I need to get a roommate, or I'll have to move back in with my parents. Okay. Another time. I've decided to move out of my parents' place to live on my own, and now I'm looking for an apartment. However, it's a lot more difficult and expensive than I thought. First of all, a one-bedroom apartment is going for about $500, and that's a little over my budget. Second, you have to pay a deposit, often equal to your first month's rent. Next, most apartments aren't furnished, so I have to come up with furniture and a washer and a dryer. Finally, the utilities, including gas, electricity, and water, are not included either, so that adds to the overall expenses of having your own place. I really think I need to get a roommate, or I'll have to move back in with my parents. Okay, you ready? Yes? Well, submit yes, your, your answers, okay? Send your, your, uh, your answers. Let me see your scores. Okay. All right, perfect. Let's take the other one. Okay, let's take the other one. The same thing, passcode listening. Mm. Okay, let me know once you're in. I am ready. Okay. Same thing, I'm going to play it three times, okay? So here we go. Sarah, I've been looking forward to our yearly camp out for three weeks. Me too. It's gonna to be a wonderful day for hiking tomorrow. The great outdoors, camping under the stars, this is the life. Yeah, but Paul, I'm a little bit worried about the weather, though. The weatherman said it was going to rain later tonight. Ah, nonsense. Nothing can spoil our adventure. Those weather reports are never right. And it said there was a chance of high winds. Ah, don't worry. Paul? Paul, did you remember to bring our raincoats just in case, like I told you? Oh, no, I left them on the front porch. Oh, what are we going to do now? We'll have to sleep in the car. Hurry, get in. So, Paul, what are we going to do now? Uh, how about playing a card game? Uh, I left them next to the picnic table. Oh. Hey, you don't want me to go out in the rain to get them, do you? Nah, that's okay. So what now? Well... We could head down the mountain and stay at that hotel we passed on the way up, or go home. Hmm, why don't we just make the best of it here and hope the weather clears? That's a good idea. The second time. Sarah, I've been looking forward to our yearly camp out for three weeks. Me too. It's going to be a wonderful day for hiking tomorrow. The great outdoors, camping under the stars, this is the life. Yeah. But, Paul, I'm a little bit worried about the weather, though. The weatherman said it was going to rain later tonight. Ah, nonsense. Nothing can spoil our adventure. Those weather reports are never right. And it said there was a chance of high winds. Ah, don't worry. Paul? Paul, 
Did you remember to bring our raincoats just in case, like I told you? Oh, no, I left them on the front porch. Oh, what are we going to do now? We'll have to sleep in the car. Hurry, get in. So, Paul, what are we going to do now? Uh, how about playing a card game? Uh, I left them next to the picnic table. Oh. Hey, you don't want me to go out in the rain to get them, do you? Nah, that's okay. So what now? Well... We could head down the mountain and stay at that hotel we passed on the way up, or go home. Hmm, why don't we just make the best of it here and hope the weather clears? That's a good idea. Okay, the last sign. Sarah, I've been looking forward to our yearly camp out for three weeks. Me too. It's going to be a wonderful day for hiking tomorrow. The great outdoors, camping under the stars, this is the life. Yeah, but Paul, I'm a little bit worried about the weather, though. The weatherman said it was going to rain later tonight. Ah, nonsense. Nothing can spoil our adventure. Those weather reports are never right. And it said there was a chance of high winds. Ah, don't worry. Paul? Paul, did you remember to bring our raincoats just in case, like I told you? Oh, no, I left them on the front porch. Oh, what are we going to do now? We'll have to sleep in the car. Hurry, get in. So, Paul, what are we going to do now? Uh, how about playing a card game? Uh, I left them next to the picnic table. Oh. Hey, you don't want me to go out in the rain to get them, do you? Nah, that's okay. So what now? Well... We could head down the mountain and stay at that hotel we passed on the way up, or go home. Hmm, why don't we just make the best of it here and hope the weather clears? That's a good idea. Okay. Let's see. Okay, perfect, guys. I can see that most of you got good scores, okay? Very good. Okay, let's move. Um, all right. So, guys, all right. Before uh, we go, I need uh, one volunteer, and I need to describe a procedure. Yes, I need to describe how um, do we create different accounts. For example, in this case, you can describe how to create a Facebook account, an Outlook, an Outlook account, a Gmail account, a Twitter account, a LinkedIn account, a Netflix account, or an Instagram account. So you decide, yes, but I need to describe the process. I want to know if, if we have the correct vocabulary for describing procedures, yeah? So I need one volunteer. Should I pick one? All right. Yes, I think that is better, right? Um, okay, so thank you, Emerson. Well, the procedure who we make a create a account from Netflix. The first part, the first step is to introduce your email in register your account after that you can you you should you should introduce your regi region or select the the uh, programs you can see okay. and we needed uh, at a uh, credit card. Okay. And we were verified in, by email. By Gmail, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It's all. Thank you, all right. And, okay. Mm, okay, yes, thank you, Emerson. Okay, another volunteer to describe another a type of account? No? Okay, I'm going to pick one. Then, um, Jose, can you please 
describe how to create, um, pick one account. Uh, okay. Uh, to create a Gmail account first, mm -hmm. you have to open the Gmail website. Mm -hmm. After that, you have to create a, um, how do you say, like a link? Mm -hmm. Then you have to add a password. A password, okay. Password, yes. Uh, and finally, uh, add your um, personal, uh, how do you say, datos? Information. Your personal information yes. and just log in. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, tomorrow I'm going to ask some of you to describe one of those uh, procedures, how to open Facebook account, Outlook account, etc. Please try to just maybe have the idea right in your mind. Then just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Thank you very much for connecting today. I really appreciate your responsibility. And I'll see you back tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Good night, everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night everybody. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care.